This is an article that came out in the Washington Post, January 26, 2018. Some of you may already know we are going to get the trifecta on January 31st. We are going to get a super moon, blue moon, and blood moon all at once. The last time this occurred was 150 years ago. That's how rare it is. And it's happening just days away. I will leave the link to this article in the description box, how and where to see the super blue blood moon of 2018. I'm going to go ahead and play this video. The 2017 Nissan Titan, backed by America's best truck warranty, which covers more than any other truck in its class, inside and out, bumper to bumper. The full moon on January 31st is going to be extra special. A combination of circumstances means a super blue blood moon will appear in the sky. Oh, and also a total lunar eclipse will take place at the same time. So let's break down this rare astronomical phenomenon. We all know what a full moon is. It means the moon rises at sunset and sets at sunrise. The moon will also be closer to the Earth on that night, making it appear larger than usual. That's what makes it a supermoon. Aside from being a supermoon, it will also be a blue moon because it's the second full moon in January, and that's unusual. There are roughly 29.5 days between full moons, so it's not not common for two full moons to fit into a 30 or 31 day month. When it happens, a moon is called a blue moon. It's not going to look blue or anything, that's just the name. It's uncommon once in a blue moon. All this coincides with a lunar eclipse, which happens when a full moon lines up perfectly with the Earth and the Sun. The Earth's shadow totally blocks the sunlight, which would normally reflect off of the moon, and then the totally eclipsed moon appears reddish in color, which is why some people actually call it a blood moon. You'll be able to see it as the moon sets. The eclipse will be partial in the eastern U.S., but on the west coast, you'll be able to see more of the show, and actually Hawaii can see the whole thing. The last time a super blue blood moon eclipse happened was in 1886. So in other words, this has been 150 years in the making. <laughs> Isn't that something? So many things happening in these last days. All right. Now, it showed the times of when this will occur. So let me just go down because it went kind of fast. Okay. So it tells you um, the supermoon is when it appears, uh, the moon appears closer to the earth and it's 14% brighter than normal. And I actually saw the January 1st super moon. It was a clear night here in New Jersey and I was able to see it and man, it was bright. It's a super moon because it's the second moon uh, full moon of the month occurring within the same month. So there was one on January 1st, and this one will be on the 31st. And it's a blood moon because the moon will pass through the Earth's shadow, creating that red hue. All right. So let's get down here. East Coast gazers can see the moon glide into the Earth's pernumal shadow by looking west at 6 15 a.m the moon will darken so it'll get dark around uh, 6 48 a.m and if you're on the east coast you're not going to see it turn red so that part of it we won't see we'll only see the beginning part of everything Okay, so at 7.15 a.m., we won't see any red moon. But if you are on the West Coast, sky gazers will be able to see the whole eclipse, red tent and all. The middle of the eclipse is at 6.30 a.m. Mountain Time, 5.30 a.m. Pacific Time, Wednesday, 
uh, blue moon is the first to this calendar year. March will also feature two full moons uh, during its 31 days, but there will be no full moon in February. The last time we had two full uh, blue moons in the same year was 1999, also during January and March. Okay, so they're just telling you the next time we have a solar eclipse, which is January 31st, 2037. So, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, so it's saying that um, who will be able to see this? Uh, the whole thing will be the Western North America, Hawaii, Australia, and Asia on January 31st, starting at 7 a.m. The Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles will host a public viewing event. Okay, so I guess, you know, if you're interested in getting up that early to see it and witness it, you can. But this is very rare. It seems like everything went downhill from that first eclipse. <laughs> we'll see how bad it gets after this one. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice. Also, join me over on Black Junction TV and BlackSpot.com. And if you can become a patron, please do or make a donation to my PayPal or GoFundMe. It would be deeply appreciated because, you know, so many of my videos are now being demonetized and it's taken me so long to weed out the troll comments. So... You know, anything you can do is deeply appreciated because, you know, I only want to get up and do my best for my subscribers each and every day. Peace, family.